Hello guys, this is Ranger Gabriel 6. How's everyone doing today? Today we're doing another God of War game, and this time we're doing God of War Origins Collection. Now, I've already covered God of War Collection, which covered God of War and God of War 2. And here we're talk uh, we're going to be discussing uh Chain of Olympus right here and Growth of Sparta. They originally came out on PlayStation Portable or PSP. Uh, this came out 2008, and this one came out 2010. But now you can get it on the console, PS3. And I have to say, I prefer to play on the console. I did. I never played this one on the PS3. I never owned it, but I did. Uh, I did own this one on the PSP. And I remember I, I had trouble playing that, you know, the control could get like one joystick. But playing on the PS3 was a lot better. Uh, funny story, I almost bought this one. And, and, and I remember seeing it at Walmart and I'm thinking, wait a minute, this game's not even out yet. And someone made a mistake. They they, they put it, you know, in the glass case. So I went, so I went to try to buy it and they got it all oh, blaming my bad. Did it come out till tomorrow or next week? But for some reason, I didn't wait to get it. I don't know why. But when this came out, then I bought it, and I was able to play this for the first time. Both great games. But, yeah, here's the cover. And here's the spine. And the back. And it says, every war has its origins. Two legendary adventures remastered for the PlayStation 3 system. Bonus material, download with content, Legionnaire Kratos, Forest of the Forgotten Challenge Arena, video, God of War, Game Directors Live, two Two epic adventures on a single Blu-ray disc, remastered for HD resolution and stereoscopic 3D DualShock capability, full PlayStation Network trophy support. And it's uh, ready at dawn. Those, the Cinematic, I think, they're the creators. These one, this company helped make the PSP ones. So, let's open it up. Take the disc out. There you have it. I love the, the chain link going around the disc there. That's really cool looking. And here's a booklet. In the back, yeah, table of contents. And just like a notice thing. Setting up and your controls. Uh, or I think, yeah, this with the controls of uh, Chain of Olympus, and this is the controls for Ghost of Sparta. And 
in the game screen. Just tell you where, the, where your health bar is at and your magic bar. And you have your warranty right here. That's pretty much it. Nothing, nothing much. So, like the title suggests, Origins, you can already probably already tell. They are a prequel to some of the main games. Chain of Olympus is, of course, a prequel to the first game, which originally came out in 2005. Ghost of Sparta is a prequel to God War II. So, it takes place in between the main games. Like I said, I just covered like, what was it, like two days ago? Uh, so, a little bit of story. Uh, Of Chief of Olympus, it's uh, I'm gonna read to you because I I played a game many many times. Basically, you know, since the prequel, so we know if you play the first game and knowing that Chief of Olympus is a prequel, you know that uh, Cradle is still serving the gods. And in the beginning of the game, you're an Atticus uh, fighting off the uh, Persian invasion. And they have a pet, a basilisk, a basilisk, a giant lizard, and that's your first boss. And then after that, uh, the sun drops from the sky, and, and it goes dark. And, uh, and Athena tells Kratos to go to the city of Marathon, where uh, the god Morbius, I think he's a god of darkness. If, I'm, if, if, if I get my Greek mythology correct, uh, Morbius is a god of darkness, I think. And he covered the Sea of Marathon in darkness, like with dark fog. And uh, Eos, or Eos, Eos is a sister of Helios. And uh, basically, I think Helios got in prison. That's why the sun dropped. Because, you know, Helios is a god of sun, uh, for those who didn't know that. And Eos is a sister. You know, you talk to her. And eventually, you got to release the sun, basically, you know. And you go through uh, the River Styx, you know, Karen, you know, the, the guy in the, in the boat. Uh, Atlas is in the game uh, and explains why Atlas was hateful toward it in God War II. But in, in Change of Olympus, you find out why. So, really good stuff. But let me give you a little brief rundown. It says the play controls Kratos, a Spartan warrior. To serve the Olympian gods. Kratos is guided by the goddess Athena, who instructs him to find the sun god Helios as the dream god Morpheus. Okay, my bad. Morpheus is a dream god, not, not god of darkness. Uh, has caused me of the gods to slumber in Helios' absence. With the power of the sun and the aid of the Titan Atlas, uh, Morpheus and the queen of the underworld, uh, Oh my God, I cannot pronounce her name. Persephone, I think. Uh, intent to destroy the pillar of the world and, and in turn, Olympus. So that's the gist of the story. Persephone, for, uh, for those who don't know, that's Hades, that, that's the wife of Hades. Uh, that's basically what it is. You know, she wants to crumple Olympus, you know, because she's mad because she was forced to marry Hades. A man she did not love. So basically, it's her getting her revenge. You know, it's her getting back at the gods of Olympus, which is funny because later on, Kratos does the, the, the same thing. You know, so you know, uh, in God War Two. So yeah, uh, not my favorite game of series, but it's good though. I mean, it, if you haven't played it, it's at least a worth a play. It is good. Um, and then go to Sparta again. Now, this is a prickle to God War II. So, which means in this one, Kratos is already the new God of War. And all of a sudden, he gets his, you know, in, in the beginning of the game, you know, he's sitting in his throne. And all of a sudden, he's getting his flashback by his brother. Yes. We find out that Kratos has a brother. And I'm not for sure what sparked it, but all of a sudden, he gets his memory of his brother. And you see, his brother was born with a mark. And the prophecy goes, 
a warrior with the Mar is going to bring down Olympus. And the gods, you know, they're superstitious people, okay? And so, Zeus sent Athena and Ares to kidnap Chris. His name's uh, Demos or Deimos. Don't the D, I can't remember. Uh, and so, as a child, you know, when, you know, when they were both kids, you know, Ares and, and Athena come. I think they raided the city, you know, you know, trying to look for them. And so they take and so they find the boy with the mark who is, you know, Kratos' younger brother, and they take him away. And you know, they think, you know, that's a child that's gonna bring down the Olympus and the gods. But uh kind of a spoiler, and you guys probably put the series already. But we all know that Kratos is the one that brings down the Olympus. And the funny thing is, if you know Kratos, you got to get, uh, not the red mark, but he's got a scar, I think, over his right eye. I can't remember exactly. But in and in this game, uh, Ghost of Sparta, when Kratos is trying to save his, his brother, because Ares is, is carrying him, you know, they're carrying off his brother, and Kratos, you know, gets mad, so he charges, and then Ares, like, backhand, like, hits him, and all of a sudden, he's bleeding, and that's how Kratos got the scar, so, little known to the gods, it was actually Kratos that brings down the lips, so they got the wrong child, so, you know, you can't blame, because, like I said, Demos, or Demos, was born with a, was born with a mark, so they think it was him, but anyway, the whole gist of that game you uh you gotta go through uh with it city of atlantis yeah uh, i got pulled up here uh, to look for your brother you uh because his brother is in prison and of course to, in order to get to him Kratos had to go through the god of death denatos and he's the main antagonist so uh so I, I i i mean i just tell you what it's about but i'll give you a little rundown it says Kratos is still haunted by the visions of his mortal past and decides to explore his origins. In Atlantis, he finds his mother, uh, Callisto, who claims that his brother Demo is still alive. Kratos journeys to the domain of death to rescue his brother. After initial resentment from Demos, the brothers team up to battle the god of death, Thanatos. And that's the gist of it. Uh, and also, in this game, Kratos finds out who his father is. Uh, his mother tells him. And again, a little bit of spoiler, it's Zeus. Yes. Because Kratos is a demigod. He's, he's half god and half human. So, uh, not surprising, he's a strong dude. But anyway, that's the gist of that game. So, between the two, I think I like go to Sparta a little bit better. I feel like the story was more interesting. It had more more action out there. Well, I mean, they both have action, but it had a better story than the Chitip Olympus, in my opinion. You know. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's my Origin Collection review. I hope you like it. If you haven't played this game, uh, if you don't have a PSP, don't worry. Like I said, you can give them a PS3, or if you do you have a PSP and not PS3? You can get on that and still enjoy it. Great games, you know. Uh, it gives you an extra story of Kratos, especially this one. It it gives you more background of a story. It's really nice. If you're a God of War fan, you cannot pass this up. It's really good. So thank you guys for watching. This is Retro Gamer 06. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It does help me out a lot. And be sure to hit that like button and hit that bell button for more videos. Thank you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.